Okay, so one of the first things I do when I get a new tripod is I get one of these guys and I loop around some zip ties. Get it to where I like it. Flush cutters because what Neanderthal doesn't want to cut their fingers while they're editing. And now I can take one of these little Milwaukee power sources and I've got power on my tripod. And for you out there, uh, Texas, if you get one of these tripods, like you were uh, talking about, you actually can put them right up next to a bench. A uh, really nice thing about these ones with these independently adjustable legs is that when I have it in the nice even, even tripod, you see it's like what you were talking about, it's far away, but these can poop independently go like that. And then the head with it having one of these rotations like this, I can level it out. Plus it's nice and stable. Now, definitely not, you know, knocking on it. And I know what you're talking about, the magnetic ones. Uh, I, I haven't had a lot of success with magnetic ones. I also do a little extreme stuff a few times and I've had it lose it, but I get these metal metal ones and then i put them on i think they it's not the cold shoe like this but it's like a cold shoe and it just slides in here it's really convenient right like that it can rotate nice metal movement i can do some rotation in this as well and i also check this out you can swap it out for the more serious rig Turn that down, it's tight. And I'll show you another thing. You'll sort of uh, get an idea for the fact that this I'm doing hands-free. One of the things that I get are these guys. And this one right now has a GoPro bracket on it, but you can get these that can clip right into GoPros. And let me show you, I'm holding it by the arm. They come with a little bracket you can clamp to your work workbench. But as we know, workbenches might be a little hard, but all of my wood workbenches, there I have a little hole, there I have a little hole, and if you look over there, I've got one as well for that light that doubles as this. There's one in the middle, and uh, you just take this guy, put it in the hole, and then if you wanna do like a downward shot, whatever, gives you a lot of flexibility and there's a lot of obviously mounts that work with GoPro brackets. So that's sort of how I do my camera gear. Check it out.